Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tanya's TLC Beauty. Yes, everything in the background there is kind of disastrous, and I know I'm at a different angle, but previously you saw me do my red lipstick declutter. I am currently sitting down like in front of that little cubby, and I'm gonna go ahead and declutter what I call my pink lipsticks now. And if there's anything in the wrong section, if it's not really a pinky shade, then I'll go ahead and put it in the proper drawer for when I do that declutter. Um, I am going to do leg swatches just because it's a little easier. This drawer is a lot fuller than my reds and my arm is not going to be quite roomy enough and I still have red lipstick stains from when I did my red lipstick declutter. So you are going to see my leg. It is nice and shaved, um, but I'm kind of just kind of sitting relaxing. I actually sprained my foot the other day, so I am in a walking boot. Not fun whatsoever. Um, but let's just jump right into decluttering and going through my pink lipsticks. So as you can see right there is the drawer of pinks. It's a lot fuller than the red. I do have a basket right here that I'm going to use for donate. And then I have my little tray here that I'm going to use for keeping. So I'm going to set you guys down now and we are going to get into the leg swatches. You like my lovely little sexy leg? But I think it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see the leg, actual leg swatches this way than on my arm just because I am right-handed and my cancer tattoo is on my left hand. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video and tackle my next lipstick drawer. So this one I have, it's the um, Lip Paint by Tattoo Junkies. I'm not sure if it has a color on it or not, but it's a nice pink. I know I'm going to be keeping this. I love the formula, and I actually have the glitter with it. You can use glitter on its own, you know, with it or without. I'll do a little leg swatch here for you. So that is the Tattoo Junkie. Love it without the, the little sparkles, but I absolutely love it with the sparkles. So I am going to keep that one. Next I have a Flower Beauty and this is in LB4 Princess and the Peony. Love the name. It's more of a sheer lipstick, but I actually really like that. It's, you know, something that you can wear kind of in any season, I think. So I'm going to keep that one. I have a Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean. This one is Me Hardy's. It has a lipstick and a lip gloss, which I think is really cool. So this is the lipstick and this is the lip gloss and it has a little mirror. So let's do a swatcheroo of the lipstick. I actually really like that and I'm gonna keep it as well. I will go ahead and swatch it with the lip topper on top, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. I really do like that. So I'm gonna keep that, and I actually think that this should go in my nude drawer. So I'll put that aside to set in there. I'm gonna try and do like some of the bullets and then go to liquids if I can. Next I have an Ulta Beauty. This is in Wild and Free, it's their metallic. Oh wow, look at that. That is stunning. So I think I'm actually gonna keep that one as well. Um, then I have a L'Oreal Pop Balm in the shade 518 Tender Mauve. These are such nice formulas because they're kind of creamy and they're not totally sheer, but it's like almost like a lip topper. Um, so I am going to go ahead and keep that. Then I have a Wet n Wild. Uh, Lolly Pop Star 370S. Ooh, that's really pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This is not going well with decluttering. I have an e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick, and this one is in Flirty and Fabulous. That's really pretty too. I'm gonna set this one aside as a maybe, so I'm gonna keep my maybes right here by my leg. Um, I have a Katie Cat Matte with CoverGirl. This is in Magenta Minx. 
if I can get the lipstick up to actually swatch it. So there's the magenta minks. I really like that color too. I'm going to keep that. It's not like a, a total pink pink. Um, then I have this NYX Simply Pink Lip Cream. And this is in Flushed. That's really pretty, but I think it's actually too light for my skin tone. So I'm going to declutter that one. I have another Ulta Matte Lipstick. This is in Pink Punch. I have used this quite a few times. I do really like that, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, I have a Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. This is in 010 LA Exclusive. I don't think I'm going to like this formula, and this is just a stain, but this one may be different than the red that I had. Yeah, I don't like that at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that. I love the packaging, though. It's super cute. I have another Revlon. This is the Color Stay Ultimate Suede in 020 Front Row. Ooh, it's clicky too when you push it up. Oh, uh, that's super, super light, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Um, trying to find all my little bullets lipsticks to try and pull those out. That way I can get through those and then move on to liquids. I think that's actually all the bullets I have, which is pretty sad. It tells you that I just love liquid lips a lot better. I have a Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in shade 140 Pink Grapefruit. So this is the swatch there. That's actually really pretty and it's a light creamy formula. I'm going to keep that one. I have a Wet n Wild in Pink Champagne 373S. I mean, that is just stunning. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like a, like a, well, it is champagne, but like the nice, like, nudie color almost. So I am going to keep that. Then I have a Revlon Lip Balm in, this is uh, the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter 045 Cotton Candy. Let's see how this one swatches. That's really pretty too. It's kind of like a nice lip gloss. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Then I have an e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Pink Minx. I'm not big. I'm not a big fan on that one, so I'm gonna declutter that one. I have another e.l.f. in Southern Belle. I think I recall liking this one. I could be wrong. It's not a very good swatch. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one. So I'm going to declutter that one. I have a NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is in the shade... Oh, what is the shade? Staycation. Oh yes, I like that color. I'm keeping that one. I have another Wet n Wild in 518D Nuevo Pink. Mm, not a big fan of that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Okay, now moving on to liquids. Oh, here's another bullet. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's just the LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. I picked up a couple of these just to kind of try them out and see if I would like them. Ooh, that is pretty. I do like that one. That's that one right there. And then I'll put the gloss on top just to see what it looks like. Ooh, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to keep that one. Then I have a Makeup Revolution Lip Euphoria in Destiny. That's really pretty too. I don't know. It's not swatching all that great. I'll go ahead and keep it and try it. And if I don't like it, then I will declutter. I have an Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is, let's see if I can find a shade. 
it doesn't have a shade on it. I guess I've worn it that much that I've worn it off. Ooh, that is pretty too. I think I'm gonna keep that one. I have a Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is in Bend and Snap. Does anybody know where the Bend and Snap comment is from? Like what movie? If you do, let me know. Ooh, that is stunning, and I love this formula. Definitely keeping that. That's actually more of a berry toned. I'm gonna to put that down in my berry drawer. I have an Urban Decay Liquid Vice Lipstick in Firebird. Um, this one I might be out of. But I do really like that. So I am gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that in the same drawer. I have a Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour. This is in the shade Pucker Up. I like lipsticks like these because you can put them on and then it has like the top coat to seal it. Oh, that is pretty. It's kind of nice and shiny. It's hard to see on the camera because it is like very sheer but shiny on top of it. So I'm gonna keep that just for lighter days. Then I have this e.l.f. It's actually like a blush highlighter, but I like it for my lips, and it's in Pink Lemonade. So there's that. I do think I'm going to keep that one. I have a NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream. This one is in Canes, C-A-N-N-E-S. Ooh, that's really pretty. I do like that one. That's not really a pink though. I think I'm gonna put that down in my nudes drawer. Then I have a Revlon Color Stay in Forever Pink. Again, this is just like such a nice lipstick to put on and wear. I really like that color too, because you put this part on top and it just locks it in. Let me see. Yeah, I think that might be a little better. That light was just a little too bright. Then I have a Bare Minerals in Cookie. This is the matte formula. Ooh, I like that too. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. I have a NYX Liquid Suede in Tea and Cookies. I like that one too. I'm gonna go ahead and keep. I have a Lorac Lip Gloss in the shade Seductress. That's really pretty too. I do like that. I have a little teeny tiny baby Bare Minerals in Keeper. Oh, that is stunning. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. I have another Urban Decay Vice, and this is in the shade Menace. Yeah, definitely keeping that one too. I do like that. I have a L'Oreal Infallible Paints, and this is in Fearless Fuchsia. Oh, that's pretty. Can we look at that doe foot applicator? That is just adorable. I love it. So I'm going to keep that one. I have another Too Faced Melted Matte in Me So Pretty, M-I-S-O Pretty. I'm gonna keep that one out as like a maybe, just because I have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. I'm wanting to say that these are very similar. Oh no, the Too Faced is a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my Maybelline. You guys know that I love my Maybelline lipsticks. I have another Bare Minerals in Luxe. Oh, that is stunning. I really do like that one. I'm gonna keep that. Come here, Momo, you wanna come with Mommy? My little Chihuahua just come in, my service dog. Come here, you want up on Mama? Come up with Mommy. Come here. One, two, three, up. You wanna say hi to everyone? You're shy. You're a shy girl, aren't you? Say hi. Aw. Momo, say hi. 
Here's my girl. Okay, you stay with mommy. Let's make it a little bit more difficult with her on my lap, y'all. I have a Wet n Wild Mega Last cat suit. And this is in the shade Pink Really Hard. Oh, that's really pretty too. I do like that. And that's a really good formula. I have a Bare Minerals in Kissy Face. get a little bit more built up. I'm not a big fan of that one, so I am going to declutter that one. Let's see. I have another Bare Minerals. This is in Fancy. This is a gloss. Oh, that's really pretty. I do like that one. So I'm going to keep that. Um, another Bare Minerals in Sugar. I like that one too. So I'm gonna keep that. Uh, let's go through the bare minerals here. This one is Rebel. That is a gloss, but I'm not just I'm not a fan of that particular color, so I'm gonna declutter that one. This one is Starlet. Yeah, that's a little lighter than that one, and it's a little bit more um, glittery, so I do like that, so I'm going to keep it. Then this Bare Minerals is in Forbidden. Are you guys able to see this? Okay. Ooh, I like that one too. It's a little darker than that one, so I am going to keep that. And it looks like the last Bare Minerals I have is in Frenemy. Ooh, that's really pretty too. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, I have one more Too Faced in here. This is the Melted Matte in Feeling Myself. Ooh, I like that one. So I'm gonna keep that. I have Urban Decay, another liquid lipstick vice, and this is in Trivial. Ooh, I do like that one too. So I'm going to keep that. I have a cover girl. This is, it doesn't say exactly what formula it is. It's the Coloricious line number 650 Plumalicious. So it's just like a pink lip gloss. I do like that. So I'm going to keep it. I have one of these Elf's lipsticks. This is in Dash of Pink. Yes, I do like that one. Then I have a L'Oreal Glossy Balm in number 230, my baby doll. Mm, I'm not a big fan of that one, so I'm going to declutter. Let's go with the balms really quick. This is a CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Shears in 216. Let me see if there's an actual color name. No, there isn't. Mm, not a big fan of that one, so I'm going to declutter that. Then I have a Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Plushed Punch. Ooh, I do like that one. I'm keeping that one. And one more, this is the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Creams. This is in Strawberry Frappe. Ooh, I like that. It's a little bit lighter than the Clinique, but I am going to keep it. Three more. I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza, I-B-I-Z-A. Ooh, that's really pretty. I do like that too, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have an Ultra Super Shiny Lip Gloss in number 14. Mm, that's just a little too sheer for me right here. So I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. 
And one more, this is the Revlon Colorstay in All Night Fuchsia. Oh, I like that one too, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then these two here, I was on the fence about. I have the Ferdy N Fabulous. So let's just swatch that one more time here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna declutter this one. And then the Too Faced is right here. So I think I'm actually gonna declutter that one because it's just, I think it's gonna really wash me out in whole. So that is it for that drawer. I've got these right here. So I decluttered two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 out of that drawer. And this is all the ones that I am still keeping. But I am starting to dwindle down my collection little by little if I can just get organized by this particular way with doing the different colors in a drawer like this and then going through then I can actually see what I want. So thank you so much for watching the video. Comment in the section below let me know what you think and if you've tried any of these particular lipsticks that I may be keeping or decluttering let me know your thoughts on them okay. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell on the right to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a video. I do upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I may every now and then throw in a little bonus video once a week. So again, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.